I was an opponent of censorship and an advocate for free speech. Then I saw the Greasy Strangler. As requested by movie club member Aaron over on my Patreon, here is my review of the Greasy Strangler. Meet Big Ronnie and Big Braden, a couple of real bullshit artists. They're a father and son who provide walking tours of disco landmarks in their hometown. Their bizarre relationship gets rocky when they begin vying for the affections of beautiful Janet. At the same time a maniac is stalking the streets, a maniac covered in grease, a strangler, a greasy strangler. I've always struggled when it comes to describing this movie to someone or to adequately articulate exactly why I find it so revolting. It's a movie that takes place in its own grotesque, ridiculous reality, populated by characters that just really turn my stomach. For instance, Big Ronnie, played by Michael St. Michael. Ronnie loves Greece. I mean, he adores it. He wants Greece on everything. Even foods that are naturally greasy aren't greasy enough for him. He stores grease in large canisters that he occasionally dips his entire body in and then goes out and strangles people by night. But I'll get into that more a little later. St. Michael's also spends a good portion of this movie completely naked. That is a sight that you can't unsee. Trust me. I've tried. Big Braden is a lonely, awkward fella. He fancies himself a science fiction writer. He lives with his father under the condition that he will prepare for him excessively greasy meals. Braden needs a roof over his head. Ronnie needs grease. It's codependence at its finest. Then Braden meets Janet during one of their tours. In order to not lose Braden to Janet, Ronnie resorts to the art of seduction. On Janet. One of Ronnie's seduction techniques involves him pouring grease on a grapefruit. He then proceeds to make love to this greasy grapefruit with his fingers and his mouth. How could Janet resist? When Janet isn't being harassed by Ronnie, she's engaging in extremely awkward sexual encounters with Braden. During their first time together, which is Braden's first time period, he can't enjoy the proceedings because he keeps asking Janet, like this? Is this right? Am I doing it right, Janet? Like this? And how she chooses to silence him. It's unnatural. But I'm sure the question that's been pecking around in your mind is, why does Ronnie dip himself on grease and go out and strangle people? It's his coping technique. Ronnie's first victims are a group of tourists who argued with him over free drinks during one of their tours. Ronnie attacks them outside of a hotel, while the trio are engaged in a misunderstanding over potato chips. A little later, Ronnie goes after a guy who fought him over the appropriate amount of grease on a hot dog. Ronnie chokes this guy so hard that his eyeballs pop out. Ronnie then proceeds to fry up the eyeballs and eat them. When Ronnie is finished with his nightly greased-up stranglings, He cleans himself off inside of a car wash ran by a friend and fellow disco enthusiast. All the stranglings in the movie are quite entertaining, I must say, or as entertaining as stranglings can be. More than one victim actually talks their way very calmly through the experience of being strangled to death. Now, as much as I play up my disgust with this movie, and this movie disgusts me, don't get me wrong. The Greasy Strangler does have its own oddball charm. For instance, all of the characters in the movie, with the exception of Ronnie, of course, are nice, naive, innocent people. Oinker, for instance, he's a friend of Braden's who wears a pig snout over his nose, or where his nose used to be, hence the name Oinker. And Braden himself, he's a bullshit artist, but... He's the kind of guy I wouldn't mind having on for a live stream to talk about sci-fi. 
Ronnie is an odd duck, to say the least, and I don't just mean his penchants for grease and strangling people. Outwardly, Ronnie has quite the ego, but inwardly he's insecure, afraid of being alone, and is unwilling to let go of the past, even if most of his past seems to be either completely fabricated or over-embellished stories of his sexual conquests and celebrity encounters. Of course, Braden and Ronnie butt heads over the affections of Janet. Braden becomes convinced that his old man is, in fact, the infamous Greasy Strangler, which leads to an absolutely ridiculous sequence in which Ronnie dons a disguise... Not a very convincing disguise, mind you, as a local detective, in order to convince Braden that he's barking up the wrong tree. But I have to say the movie does have an overall positive message about the power of the father-son bond. A bond that not even Grease can tear asunder. I can't recommend The Greasy Strangler, and I'll most likely never watch it again, but if any part of my review of the film piqued your interest in seeing it, then you're deeply disturbed. Shout out to Movie Club member Aaron for requesting that I review The Greasy Strangler. Thank you for your review request, and thank you for being a patron. I really appreciate your support. If there's a movie you'd like for me to review, follow the link in the description or head over to patreon.com forward slash pizow and join the movie club today. Patrons also get early access to videos, have a say in what content appears on my channel, can join me for monthly live streams, get cameo style shout out videos from Jeremy and I, and more. If you've seen The Greasy Strangler, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know what the most disgusting movie is you've ever seen. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care. And until next time, Grease. Peace. Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.